Hi everyone, I'm Jess and I'm so happy to have you here today on Learn Excel on Mac with Jess. What we're going to be looking at today is something that you already may be doing on an ongoing basis, which is looking at the budget that you had set for yourself or your business unit, looking at the actuals that have hit, and seeing if there is any variance between budget and actuals. Today's tutorial is a follow-on to my previous video called Combine Multiple Sheets Fast on Excel which is a quick introduction to Power Query. I've included the link up here, so if you haven't watched it yet or if you haven't heard about Power Query before, please be sure to watch that first so that this tutorial will make more sense. With that, let's get started. Let's take a peek at the data that we'll be using today. You have two tabs in front of you. One is called Budget and one is called Actuals. The Budget has a list of items and expenses that you forecast will happen throughout the year. It has the quarter of when it's going to happen, the categories such as marketing, headcount, contractors, the description as to what the line item will be, and the budgeted amount, in this case, US dollars. You also have an Actuals tab, which looks very similar columns-wise to the Budget tab, but in addition, we have an actual amount here in column H and the purchase order number. So think of Actuals as something that you would pull from a system like SAP that will tell you which charges have actually hit your department. We have one task for us today, which is to be able to combine both the budget and the actuals tab into one data source and make a pivot out of it so that by category, we can take a look at which categories are over or under budget and looking at it holistically. So why do we do this? Why do we need to combine both of these data sources into one? Well, for me in the past, if I had to compare two data sources, I would create a pivot table for each, one for budget and one for actuals, and then do an eyeball comparison line by line to see where the delta comes from. Well, this method was very manual and prone to many errors. And worst of all, what happened if there was a category that was in one tab, but not the other? For example, here, this computer refresh of $10,000 came in unexpectedly, so you did not forecast for it. As you can see, it would be so much easier for us if we could combine all of this into one so we don't have to worry about those differences. So let's take a look at how Power Query can help us get there. So the first thing to remember is to name the tables, which I've done creatively here called Table Budget and Table Actuals. So now let's go find that Power Query editor. Go up here to Data, click on Get Data Power Query, and launch the editor. Click on Get Data, Excel Workbook, Browse, find the file that you are trying to source the data from, click on Get Data, and hit Next. So now we have the table budget and the table actuals that I just named. Click on Create. And great, now we have both the budget and the actual tables into the Power Query. So we're just one step closer to getting them into the same data source. So staying on the Home tab, go here to the very right called Combine, click on Append Queries and Append Queries as New. If you remember, Append Queries is a function in Power Query where you can put one data after the other vertically. So click on that. So because we only have two tables that we're trying to connect, the budget and the actual, it's, we don't have to change the radio button here. So click on first table as actuals and second as budget, hit OK, and voila. Now a third query called append has been created and it is a much bigger data set because it is a combination of the actual table and the budget table. If you're wondering what these nulls are, these are for columns that exist in one tab but not the other. So for example, these nulls here in the column budgeted amount in rows 1 to 13 appear this way because in the actual tab we did not have a column called budget amount. I've purposely separated the budget dollar amount from the actual dollar amount because in just a short moment we're going to use an in pivot formula to calculate that delta. So let's close and load. Now the append query is a tab in Excel. Let's do our pivot table with summarize with pivot table. Hit OK. Find the category field name. 
drop it in rows, find actual amount, and budget amount. So we're not done. We still have to calculate the variance, which means we have to do a subtraction from actual to budget. And to keep our Excel hygiene clean, let's do that with an in pivot formula. So go up here to pivot table analyze, click on fields, items, and sets, choose calculated field. Let's name the formula over, under. Delete the zero from the formula. Find the actual amount minus budget amount. Hit OK. So let's reformat this quickly. And there we go. So between actual and budget, you are actually $89,000 under. And it's mainly in the headcount category here, $490,000. So that's how you use Power Query to combine and analyze two data sets as one. I would love to hear from you what you think you could use Power Query for. So leave me comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.